Today we'll be talking about Microsoft Premonition Networks. In 2020, Microsoft launched this innovation as um, another practical example of using computer science into the real-time problems of humanity. And this time around, this innovation focuses on using Internet of Things, robotics, cloud computing to engage and monitor um, certain potential dangers to human life. I've prepared this presentation. Sit back, relax, and let's take a ride together. So let's take a brief look at what Microsoft Premonition Network is all about. So the first thing we should understand here is that monitoring viruses before they occur can actually be a huge advantage. Okay. Secondly, premonition tends to change the paradigm of drug treatment and their preconceived outcomes. So when we talk of paradigm, we're talking of the model of a drug development model of something. Thirdly, reacting to pathogens, consistently looking for or tracking them as they evolve could be very impressive. Okay, what this indicates is that um, actually trapping the behavioral attributes of pathogens before they unleash a pandemic can be advantageous. The next thing that was made known in this uh, innovation is that computer-based signals could potentially split unforeseen threats earlier than expected, respond faster, and also develop new interventions before outbreaks occur. Now, here is the fact. Robotics. Cloud computing is a converging point where monitoring these species can occur in a new way or scale. What this indicates is that the combination of robotics and cloud computing can actually be a tipping point where these species can occur or can be monitored in a new way. Now the next uh, point that was made was that in 2014, a bullet outbreak led to this uh, events or these sets of questions. How did this disease jump from one animal, okay, to the other and then eventually to humans? Then what signals are missing from these events? And what technologies is needed to be created? The answer to these things bring, can bring very, very intuitive innovation. So here is what was being proposed. One of the technologies needed to help this case scenario is perhaps a global sensor network to monitor micro-producing species. Next, the fact is that our intermediate environment is constantly leaving track of clues that might need superficial monitoring and reporting. Additionally, there is the imperative to figure out how to read these signals. So let's talk about mapping the biome of disease packets and how to build this global network. We must understand that arthropods, insects, etc. are found on land, sea, water and air, bringing contaminants, potential contaminants to living things. Now, there is this innovation that has been proposed by Microsoft Machine Networks thing. And they talked about smart devices like the one shown in the figure besides this presentation. Having some sort of 
robotic platform with sufficient hard disk space that can monitor arthropods, identify mosquitoes in a millisecond, or capture it in a split second for further analysis should the organism fly past any of these kind of internal or thin device sensors. Okay, so assume this figure shown beside this presentation, okay, which is our smart, uh, we are assuming that this is the smart Internet of Things device, okay, captures say 10,000 mosquitoes for each encounter per second per species of mosquitoes plus climate change variables, which might uh, be humanly impossible to monitor. Okay, then in time, these individual data sets could form petabytes of data variables to monitor the biome of each of these organisms. We shouldn't also forget that the real potential of these devices comes when they are networked together to form a massive big data of organic variants that can be scanned against millions of already known or unknown genome signatures hence produce disease and pathogen monitoring in any way now what we should understand first of all okay alongside is the genomic picture you must have been seeing pictures like this from our high school, you know, up to the level of university and all. Okay, now, as this device, the one previously mentioned, the Internet of Device that we're referring to now in context, as this device grows in data, it will begin to detect anomalies, scan for viruses, microbes, and other genetic signatures, both known and unknown. Also, the cloud scale genomic analysis is also uh, would be a, a huge advantage because this would become very handy for deeply scanning environmental factors, newly discovered materials from blood samples, environmental sources, etc., that are either threats or friendly to the human society. So, going further, we should understand the fact that a single arthropod, like the one shown in the image besides there, sample can contain a great amount of digital fragments of genetic material, which will or can be scanned against a database of perhaps over 2 trillion pairs of DNA, representing a bulk of genomes on Earth. In succession, this would build a huge statistical model, like uh, the one being shown in the figure uh, besides uh, this text. And of course, most likely, organisms such as Ebola, Zika, uh, dog, insect, etc., present in any organic sample can be further analyzed. Questions using the genetic code in the sample concerning the likely organism or pathogen in any model can then be precisely answered with the help of this new approach. Okay, now it is also very important to state here that this is important because health threats have direct impact to human society, economy, just to mention a few. In conclusion, COVID-19 might be the most recent human health threat, but might not be the very last. Consumer technology robotics plus artificial intelligence and cloud computing are handy tools that could avert highly contagious ailments for the entire human race. Hmm. How interesting. If you love this video, please remember to subscribe. 
comment, start a discussion on these premonition networks. What do you think about it? Do you think that premonition networks could help us avert future pandemics? Till next time, I remain your loyal, humble self. Cheers and all the best. <laughs>